Good morning. Welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. Today is Thursday, January 6th, the Thursday after the Epiphany. I am Mary Beth Dumas, so happy to be with you once again to share our daily prayer. Our readings today are taken from the first letter of St. John and the Gospel of Luke. So let us now begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the God of all consolation, who has shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. O God, who through your Son raised up your eternal light for all nations, grant that your people may come to acknowledge the full splendor of their Redeemer, that bathed evermore in his radiance, they may reach everlasting glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we love God because he first loved us. If anyone says, I love God, but hates his brother, he is a liar. For whoever does not love a brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. This is the commandment we have from him. Whoever loves God must also love his brother. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world, and the victory that conquers the world is our faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And today's responsorial psalm, Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. From fraud and violence he shall redeem them, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. May they be prayed for continually. Day by day shall they bless him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and news of him spread throughout the whole region. He taught in their synagogues and was praised by all. He came to Nazareth, where he had grown up, and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down, and the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him, and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. The 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And we'll just take a few moments in reflection. And let us now bring our cares and concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer for our call to stewardship, that we may use all of our gifts to benefit those who need our help. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer for an end to the pandemic, that God will continue to guide and inspire all who work to end the virus and to give our leaders the wisdom and courage to make the right decisions. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who are in any way still burdened during these difficult times, that the sick, the unemployed, the lonely, and the frontline and essential workers may continue to find peace and comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious spirit will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words that our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercy, we thank you for the gift of your son and the road to redemption paved by his sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a very peaceful Thursday. I'll see you back next week for prayer.